Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day three of Loose Powder Week. I hope you guys are loving this series as much as I love doing them. And today I've got uh, one that is not a first impressions. I want to say it's probably a third impressions. I've used this powder twice before. So today's loose powder pick is the Sicily Loose Face Powder with Hibiscus Flower Extract and I have it in the color 1 Irise. So if you're interested in hearing more about this Sicily Loose Powder then keep on watching. I purchased this powder off of I believe Beautylish quite some time ago. It retails for $95 and I have it in the color 1 Irise. It comes in four colors all together and Irise is the lightest. So when I first purchased this powder I had not fallen down my loose powder rabbit hole yet and so I had been really exclusively using uh, pressed powders but a good friend of mine, the one that I mention all the time, she's the one that takes me shopping. She's actually the one that got me the 40% off at Guerlain. Um, anyway, she was like, girl, you have to try the Sicily Loose Powder. It's great. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. So I got it. I didn't ask her how she used it. I probably should have, but I started using it as a setting powder and it made my skin look really, really dry. And I also was a little bit surprised at the sparkle that is in this powder. So there's a little bit of sparkle in this powder and I really wasn't prepared for it. So the first time I wore it, I was like, I don't think this powder is for me. But of course I decided to go for it again. Again, I used it as a setting powder. And again, I thought it just looks a little bit cakey. I don't like what it's doing to my under eyes. I don't like what it's um, doing, to, you know, basically to my cheek area before I started putting down, you know, highlighter, blush, bronzer, all that kind of stuff. So then I put this powder away and I just kind of didn't think about it too much. So here we are, loose powder week. And I thought, you know what? I have to revisit this powder. I have to use it as a finishing powder, but I did want to use it as a setting powder just to see again if I was going to have the same result and if my skin was going to look dry and cakey. So I think what I'm going to do with this powder is I'm going to use it as setting powder for half of my face so we can take a look. The other half of my face, I'm going to use the Clay de Peau Loose Translucent Setting Powder because this is one that I like. It's matte, it's worked for me every single time as setting powder, so I'm gonna use that on this side of my face. Maybe we can do a quick comparison. And then what I'm gonna do after I do all my makeup is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna use this as a finishing powder all over my face. So we'll see how it turns out and hopefully I have better results with it as setting powder. I was just reading some of the reviews on the Sicily site and People love it as setting, as finishing, everything. Let me stop rambling and let me get this powder on my face. All right, so for this powder, I'm gonna use the La Mer brush and I'm gonna use the Sicily powder as setting powder on the right side of my face. Here's what the powder looks like. I actually really, really love this packaging because it has a flip top, it has a mirror on the inside, and then it has a puff and then the powder sits right in there and the well that this sifter is in is like rounded so it's just it's really really nice and even though loose powder is always a little bit um, bulky I think you could travel with this because of this uh, flip top lid I think it makes it uh, travel friendly not that I have travel with this but just a thought because I've used this already there's actually a lot of powder here in the uh, sifter area so I'm just going to uh, dip my La Mer brush in there pick up some product. I'm going to knock off any excess because I'm a little gun shy. I don't want to put on too much. So that's all I have left. And I'm going to start at my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit more. I'm going to mention all the things that I keep forgetting to mention. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I have Clay de Peau The Foundation down along with Clay de Peau Concealer around my eyes, a little bit around my nose. Uh, but that's all I have down at the moment. And I have dry sensitive skin. It is eczema prone and I tend to have issues along my forehead uh, due to the eczema and, you know, texture issues. So there's a very light layer of the Sicily powder down as setting powder over here. Let's take a close look. So I'm seeing a little bit of what I saw before. I feel like it just emphasizes my lines. And this was the conclusion I came to when I first used this powder was that it makes my skin as a setting powder it makes my skin just look a little bit aged. It makes my under eyes look a little bit crepey. I feel like it's emphasizing this uh, laugh line here. My forehead looks okay. That does not look uh, bad. That doesn't look uh, aged or I don't feel like my very deep expression lines up here. I don't think those look 
any more emphasized. I mean, they're pretty deep. And then the rest of my face looks okay. I just don't like the way it makes my under eyes look. And this was the same conclusion I came to before. So I'm gonna try and zoom in here, but hopefully you can see that I feel like it just looks a little bit dry and caked. And it's definitely a personal preference of mine. I, as much as I love to glow, <laughs> as much as I love to be radiant, I don't really like the sparkles in this. It is very, very subtle on the skin, but let me actually try and see if you can see that, the little sparkle there in the powder. I'm gonna lay it on kind of thick there. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna be a better finishing powder for me. So let's go ahead and put the Clay de Peau Loose Powder on this side of my face. And this powder I love, this is what the Clay de Peau looks like. I've talked about this loose powder quite a bit, so I wasn't planning on including this particular powder during this week, but I think I will because I talk about it so often. So stay tuned for like a dedicated video on this loose powder. I am running out of clean powder brushes, so I'm gonna try my Chikahoto GSN 4. This one is much smaller compared to the La Mer, but it has uh, natural bristles. Load up some on the brush. Again, press it around my eyes. All right, so there is the Clay de Peau loose powder on this side of my face. So I do think my under eyes look much better on this side. They look blurred, they look smooth. And again, I feel like the Sicily really emphasized the lines under my eyes there. I do think the Sicily definitely has like a little bit more of a radiant finish, which is very nice. So apart from my under eye lines and a little bit of my uh, laugh lines here, I think both powders did a very good job, you know, setting down my makeup. I just don't like the way Sicily has kind of emphasized my lines. So let me put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and we'll use the Sicily powder as finishing powder and we'll see how it works then. All right, I am back. I have a full face of makeup on. The only thing that I did not put on is any highlighter because I wanted to see uh, the true finish of this uh, Sicily powder as a finishing powder. And I was also careful in picking my bronzer and my blush. So I decided to use a matte bronzer, which is uh, one of my favorites lately, the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Stone Street. And um, I realized I don't have a lot of like straight up matte blushes. So I went for my Viseart uh, blush palette in rose coral and I just mixed the two middle shades here so that's what you see on my face again both matte so they are not giving off any kind of finish themselves so let's go ahead and use the Sicily powder as a finishing powder I'm really really excited to give it a go I have my favorite finishing powder brush here this is the Sonia G face one this brush is just absolutely perfect for buffing. So I picked up just a bit on my brush here. I'm gonna start on the side where I use the Sicily powder as setting powder also, and I'm gonna tap this on, and now I'm gonna go ahead and buff that in. A bit more on my forehead. I have to say, this powder as a finishing powder is quite beautiful. Let me just show you, this is the side with the finishing powder. And then here's a side without. So you can see that there's like this really beautiful, nice veil across my skin. It's blended out my bronzer and my blush really nicely. Here it still looks a little bit stark. So I'm just going to try it around my under eye area just to see if it will smooth that out a little bit. I'm just taking a teensy, teensy bit. I'm just going to pounce that underneath. Use really small <laughs> buffing motions here. It's hard to do under the eyes and around my nose also. Well, I have to say, I feel like there's a bit of an improvement. So I'm wondering if maybe this powder, whether it's setting or finishing, really just needs to be worked into the skin with a brush like this one. And I'm much happier with my under eye situation right now. Let's go ahead and apply it to the side where I have the Clay de Peau as the setting powder and uh, buff some of that in. So I'm gonna stamp it on, buff it in. Oof, loose powder is very messy. Okay, so there it is all over my face. I'm liking it. I'm liking it as a finishing powder. So I started at about eight o'clock. I'll be back at around lunchtime to do my first check-in and we'll see where the powder is at that point. See you later. So 
So I was just inspecting my face in the mirror and I love, love the finish that this powder has given my skin. It looks radiant. You guys know how much I like that. And I have to say that I definitely like it over the matte clay de peau setting powder more than over it as its own setting powder. So this side, I don't, I hope you guys can see, is more radiant, which doesn't necessarily bother me, but I do definitely see the fine lines around my eyes and at the top of my cheeks here, the smile lines over here. And while I like the glow a lot, what I'm also seeing a lot are those sparkles. It's almost too much to use as a setting and a finishing, at least for me. On this side, where I only have it as a finishing powder, I don't feel like my fine lines are emphasized, and I also feel like there's just a few of those glitters. It's not too much, and to me it makes a world of difference. Like, I get that really nice sheen, but I don't feel like every time I kind of turn to the light, there's like all these glitters on my face. And then as for my problem areas, my forehead, around my nose and my chin, I guess my oilier textured spots, I don't see any issues there at all. There's no caking, there's no clinging, um, it's not getting uh, old looking, you know, like old makeup looking on my face. It doesn't look like that at all. In fact, it looks really, really phenomenal on both sides, in fact. So those are my thoughts so far. I'll be back in another four or five hours for my final check-in. <laughs> Hey guys, it's five o'clock and I've had this makeup on now for nine hours. So again, I just inspected myself in the mirror and I'm really, really loving the way my skin looks. I am preferring the side where I only used it as a finishing powder. So not much has changed since my check-in. Um, I had a crazy, I walked my dog, I had this crazy allergy attack and my nose just started running. So I was wiping my nose quite a bit. So I feel like anything I had around my nose has just been wiped off. You can probably see the red around my nostrils. But I tried to steer clear of like this area. I just kind of like kept my tissue right here. Um, and I don't see any kind of weird gunking up around my nostrils. I don't see any of the weird gunking up around my chin. I don't see any uh, strange texture situation on my forehead. So I would say if you are looking for a setting powder, you want something with a little bit of that micro glitter in there, maybe you're a big fan of Sicily. If you have, I want to say, normal to oily skin, this is probably pretty good as a setting or a finishing powder. For me, where I don't like this powder in terms of setting powder is under my eyes and where I have little laugh lines and where I have this line right here. I just felt like it really emphasized those lines um, as a setting powder. As a finishing powder, I don't think it did that. I think it did a great job kind of giving me a beautiful blurred effect, a uh, little, my, oh, sorry, my puppy just walked in. Hi, baby. How was dinner? Do you want to say hi? Come here. Mm. Oh my god, she's getting so heavy. Wait, do you want to show everyone your spotted belly? Okay, ready? Look at her spotted belly. You guys see it? Okay, just stay there. And then in terms of tools, I feel very strongly that this is the proper brush for this powder. I feel like when I swept it across with a brush like this, I thought it was really great just for this sort of flat area, but in terms of like under my eyes, I feel like as soon as I buffed it in a little bit better, I feel like it just blurred better. It didn't kind of like sink into my lines. Like I was able to kind of just like work it into the skin and I feel like I liked the finish a lot better when I was really able to buff it into the skin. So this brush is definitely my recommendation, or at least this type of brush is my recommendation for this powder. Something with a flat top, something where you feel comfortable being able to use like a buffing motion. I love the packaging of this powder. So far this is my favorite packaging in terms of um, loose powders. This, ooh, how messy this lid with the powder puff. I just think it's really handy. I like the mirror inside. So all in all, I really like this powder. I'm glad I know how to use it now. It is much, much better as a finishing powder. It is much, much better when you work it in, when you really, really work it in with a buffing brush. So now I have come to really enjoy this powder. It is definitely gonna go into my finishing powder rotation. And I think some of you are probably gonna ask me to compare this to the meteorites. I think those meteorites have more of a pearl finish this because of the micro glitters it's much more of it's a pearl 
It's a pearly kind of finish, but it, there's a lot more shine going on because of those little micro glitters. But both are really, really nice. This doesn't have any fragrance, so if you are sensitive to fragrance, this may be a better option for you than the Meteorites. But in terms of finishing, I think they're both really beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you've used this powder, if you've been interested in this powder, you have any questions, definitely let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Wanna say bye?